Heroes in Crisis, issue number eight of nine from DC Comics. So here we go, another Heroes in Crisis, uh, or as I like to call it, the character assassination of Wally. <laughs> like, I mean, I did a video on DC basically assassinating Lois Lane's character, but that. What they did to her is nothing compared to what they did to Wally in this issue. Holy cow. Like, this is... There's no going back from this. Like, you have to pretty much retcon this series to if you want any chance of um, of fixing Wally. Uh, this is like... This is... <laughs> this is worse... This series has been worse than Infinity Crisis. The series, um, in my opinion, like it's I, I think uh, one more day is better than this. And I mean that series basically just kind of destroyed Peter Parker for a lot of people. Um, but this, this is, I'm 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 still like I'm still in shock at how much DC just completely destroyed Wally's character. Like there there's no going back from this. Uh this isn't like hyperbolic statement. There's there's unless you completely retcon this uh this event and pretend it never happened, there's no way you can fix this for Wally. Um so let's just get into it. So basically we have Wally and he's like this is my confession. That's pretty much what this whole issue is. This whole issue is just his confession where he admits that he killed everybody. <laughs> Spoilers, like for anyone who cares about the series, yeah, that 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 thing that everyone kind of assumed was true that you know like issues and issues and issues ago that Wally was the killer. Yeah, it turns out that you guys were right. Wally is the killer. He killed everybody, and not just that. It, it's much it's much worse. I mean, if he just killed everyone, then okay. I mean, that's already bad, but you can kind of fix that. It's what he does after the killing that just. Destro completely destroys his character. So basically, we have uh, Wally. I'm not gonna be showing like all the stuff, but uh, he just has a really sad sack story, where uh, he talks about how he feels alone, how no one understands him. Like literally, <laughs> he literally becomes emo. Nobody understands me. Oh no, I don't have my wife and kids with me right now. Like, dude, everybody has lost somebody. No, uh, uh, he's just like, no one understands me. No one knows the struggles that I went through. It's like, dude, there are people who like lost loved ones. There, there are literally characters in the DC Universe who have lost their entire race, their entire planet. Oh, no one understands I lost my, my wife and kids. Freaking Superman <laughs> lost everybody. His whole family is dead, minus his cousin. But, I mean, his whole planet was destroyed. You know, Batman lost his parents and Catwoman basically cucked him and ran away. Freaking, like, people have lost loved ones. They've lost entire races. They've had their planets destroyed. Uh, there are characters who've been raped. But no, 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 nobody understands you. You're, you're completely alone. No, nobody, nobody has even an inkling of what you're going through. And uh, not only that, but he also thinks that Sanctuary is all some kind of trick to fool him. Uh, the, you know, the, the, these people, you know, like, why is there so much secrecy? Why can't we know who's here? I don't know. Maybe it's because um, there's villains and there's heroes together trying to get help for, for mental damage. They're trying to get mental health. And, you know, like, you don't go around announcing who your patients are. <laughs> like, you, you, you ever go and talk to your therapist and ask them for the names of their other patients? You know what they'll tell you? Yeah, no, I can't give that information out. So maybe that's why there's secrecy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think Sanctuary is a stupid idea. I've talked about this in previous issues. The whole idea is, is dumb in the way they went about it. But I mean, the secrecy part at least made sense. So anyways, yeah, like, see, like, you know, I keep telling them. I keep telling you I was alone. Except they're really not. I mean, you have you have friends. Um, you might not have like your wife and kids and stuff like that. But you have family. You, you have the Justice League. You have people you can go to. You're not alone. All right. Um, you have not only people you can go to, but I mean, there's other people that like share your pain. Like, there's others out there that have lost way more than you have. 
maybe go to them and you know see if you guys can help each other i don't know but uh basically he he uh i guess hacks into the sanctuary or something where he basically he watches everyone's conf um confessions despite the fact that they said that they destroy all the tapes immediately after uh apparently he was able to piece everything together and watch everybody's confessions and for some reason that um it broke him yeah this is wally now the remember wally was the symbol symbol of hope he was the the, the symbol of hope he was going to lead the rebirth into this new era where we're going to take our favorite characters back to how they used to be and and now he's just broken um this should really be changed from it broke me to uh tom king broke me because uh that's what tom king does he he takes beloved characters and he breaks them kind of like he did with mr miracle kind of like he did with batman kind of like he did now with wally he basically just takes characters that you love and just destroys them and <laughs> to the point where it's like you gotta like almost just retcon everything he writes just for any chance of redemption i honestly i don't know how if the, if if there's anyone left that still enjoys tom king's writings please tell me why like i'm not gonna like make fun of you or anything like that like people can like whatever the hell they want i mean there are things i enjoyed that people are like how the hell can you like that that's so stupid and i'm like yeah it it it, it does something to me so maybe tom king's writings do something to you i personally find them um boring melodramatic uh pretentious um persuado intellectual um they just horrible pacing uh and he has a really bad way of keeping characters in character like nobody acts the way that they should but uh yeah so basically uh wally is broken oh no feels bad man i'm broken inside so uh, he rushes outside to have a good cry. No joke. I mean, he, he literally rushes out of Sanctuary and you can see tears down his eyes. This is Wally West running outside to cry because he's broken because nobody understands him. Yeah, there you go. There's your beloved Wally. Anyways, he goes outside to cry. And then all the heroes, I guess they hear him. Everyone in Sanctuary hears him. Um... And they decide to go outside and they go to see, hey, man, what's wrong? I guess they, you know, they go to comfort him, which kind of defeats the whole, like, I'm alone. It's like, you, you literally have all these heroes coming outside to help you. And he kills them all. Now, granted, he didn't do this on purpose. What happened was, I guess, the speed force was going out of control due to his emotions. But because he had a breakdown, his powers kind of went crazy and he ends up killing everybody and it's like okay i mean obviously none of us want wally to be a killer but this is fixable um there have been plenty of heroes in the past who have done something terrible but then they're able to redeem themselves here's the problem though it doesn't stop at just this it doesn't stop with wally just killing everybody what he does next is what destroys his character for good, in my opinion. So, he notices that out of everyone in Sanctuary, Booster Gold and Harley Quinn are the only ones that remained inside. They have no idea what's going on. In fact, they're actually about to come out of the VR room. So what he does is he rushes back in, puts them back inside, and he makes them believe that they witnessed the other person committing the murders so booster gold sees harley killing people harley sees booster killing people yes wally west frames two innocent people for the mass murder that he just committed let that sink in for a moment i'm gonna come back to that in just a second he steals um, Booster Gold's technology so he can travel to the future. He travels five days to the future, meets his future self, kills his future self, then brings his future self's body back to the past and dumps it next to Roy. 
That way, when Batman and Superman and stuff arrive, they will think that Wally was murdered along with the rest of the group. So here's the thing. Not only did he kill everyone, not only does he kill himself and bring himself back to the past so that he can, you know, get scot-free on the, on the matter. Um, he puts the blame on two innocent people who had nothing whatsoever to do with the murders. He frames them. He's also the one that kind of sets off this whole murder mystery. He's the one that um, wrote the uh, puddlers on the wall. Not only this, if anyone remembers, um, a lot of the people that were murdered were also mutilated. I'm sure, you, I don't know if you guys remember that. They were mutilated. So Wally West, after murdering everybody, he frames two people and then he mutilates the bodies of the victims he killed so that he can better frame these two people and take the blame off him. You heard that right. He mutilates the victims of the heroes he murdered so that he can throw the scent off of him and onto two innocent people. Does that sound like Wally to you? Does that sound like something Wally would do? No. Wally would never do this. Like I said, it's it's I wouldn't be happy if Wally killed these people, but I understand, hey, my powers went crazy and these people died and now I'm now that's when he should be broken. It's like, oh crap, I, I how am I going to I got to fix this? And then maybe, you know, he tries to go back to the past or I don't know, he tries to do something to fix his mess, whatever. But I, I'm completely fine with I lost control of my powers and something terrible happened and now I got to redeem myself. Fine. That's not the problem. The problem is what you did after you murdered people. After you murdered people, you mutilated their bodies so you can frame two innocents who had nothing to do with the murders. There's no going back from that. That's a villain origin story if I ever heard one. Wally is destroyed in my eyes. There's no going back from this. The only thing DC can do would be like, you know what? First off, they should fire Didio. Can his ass. DC lately has Dan Didio stink all over it. So I would get rid of him. What I would do is I would just retcon all this. And just be like, yeah, you know what? No. Heroes in Crisis is going to be like an Elseworld thing. This this is non-canon. This is maybe like a what if. You know, what what if this happened? But it, it's not going to fit within our canon verse. Because if you don't do that, I don't see how there's any coming back from this. I don't see how Wally can do anything to redeem himself. I mean, he, he murders people fine, but then he went out of his way and mutilated the corpses of heroes that he killed so that he can frame two innocent people. Like, there's there's just, there's no going back from that, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, that's, that's Heels in Crisis number eight. One more issue to go. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been cruising message boards, um, Specifically, the uh, the DC Reddit, you know, subreddit on uh, people's reactions to this series and this issue in general. And people are freaking pissed. <laughs> people are so mad. I don't think anyone has been enjoying this series so far. I, You know what? I think DC fans in general are just done. Um, I've seen a lot of people, uh, basically, they're, they're upset with um, Dick becoming Rick Grayson. They're upset with what Bendis has done to Superman, um, specifically to John. The mask castle, uh, cancellations, people are very upset about that. Uh, the Bat-Cat wedding, that never happened. People are still pissed off about that. And then Heroes in Crisis, people are really freaking pissed off about Heroes in Crisis. And I'm seeing a lot of people actually walking away from DC. Like, they're, I don't know if they're just saying it or if they're actually saying it and meaning it but i'm seeing a lot of people like you know what i'm done with dc um like i don't have time for this anymore uh, i'm going to marvel apparently marvel is actually on an upswing can anyone who's reading marvel please tell me because if so i will definitely go back to reading more marvel um i mean i've been shitting on marvel in like previous videos but uh that's not because i hate marvel in general it's just because i hate the direction that they went um, but if they're actually, you know, turning things around and actually improving themselves and getting better and becoming what DC Rebirth was, 
I have no problem giving my money to Marvel. I mean, um, I have been reading Guardians of the Galaxy. I haven't read the, the newest one that came out this week um, at the time of this recording. I haven't read it yet, but I will. Um, but um, the previous three, I've really enjoyed it. Mine is Peter Quill's character. I'm not really a fan of him becoming an alcoholic. But other than that, like, I, I've enjoyed that series. Um, the Thanos run was good. Cosmic Ghost Rider was interesting. Um, the, uh, the Ghost Rider one-off where he's in hell. I forgot what it was called. Damnation, I think. No, that's Batman. That's Batman Damnation. What's the one? I forgot what it was called. It came out last year. That one is actually pretty good. Um, I've heard good things about Amazing Spider-Man. I've heard good things about Venom. So, you know, if you guys let me know, uh, anyone who's reading Marvel, has Marvel actually been on the upswing? Have they actually been doing good? And if so, uh, what series should I check out? Because I would totally be down for checking out some more Marvel stuff. I mean, I grew up in Marvel. I, n I, didn't, I never became big into DC until Rebirth happened. And now I'm kind of losing interest. Like the only thing from DC that I actually look forward to um it's just as league dark pretty much i mean i check a couple of stuff here and there but i'm not i'm not into it anymore uh i mean i heard red hood and the outlaws like they the gang was going to get back together again so maybe things will get better with that series once that happens but i've started losing interest in that one too uh just as league dark is the only thing that like i look forward to speaking of uh i haven't read the new one that came out this week either i got it but i haven't read it yet at the time of this recording um but yeah, if you, if you guys if you guys recommend any Marvel stuff, I'll check it out. But um, yeah, he was in Crisis number eight. We got one more one more issue of this event to go. Uh, but I think I think this issue pretty much killed Wally for a lot of people. Um, I don't see how there's any turning back from this. I think he he's 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 broken beyond repair. The only thing you can do now is just retcon, retcon this whole event. Make make sure this never like make it so that this never happened. Otherwise, um, I don't I don't know like I don't see anything that he can do to redeem what he did. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, anyone who's been reading Here's a Crisis, what do you think of Here's a Crisis? Uh, what do you think of what they did to Wally? Do you think there's any fixing him other than retcon? Like, do you think there's there's a redemption here? Do you think? Or do you think he's just, he, there's no going back from this? I think this is basically Wally's event horizon. So yeah, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys like the direction DC is going in? I, I don't, but I don't know. Maybe someone else out there does. Please, if you guys haven't already, uh, subscribe. Hit the bell for notification. I'm trying to hit 400 subscribers by the end of the year. I'm, uh, I'm like early 300, so hopefully I can get there. Um, so please subscribe. Hit the bell for notification. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment down below. Please share this with people um you know i i have like um like donations that you can do but i i never plug it because i always feel weird i'm one of those people like i always feel weird when people donate um whenever i stream on twitch i always feel weird when people sub i mean i i'm super happy and appreciative of it but at the same time i almost feel like i don't earn it you know i don't know it's it, it just i'm always weird when people like throw help me financially in any way it's just it, something about it's like i feel like i gotta earn that so I guess what, what, the reason I brought them up is because um, you don't have to do that. What I would love is just share this. If you guys can just help the channel grow by just sharing this and getting the word out, that's all I ask. I don't I don't need any kind of monetary, you know, favors or anything like that. Just please hit the like, sub, and just share with as many people as you can. And just, you know, the more people I can get on my channel, the, the, the awesomer I, that would be. Like, I would love that. Yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.